This is the moment of truth. Will Tina's bike work? <gasps> You brought the best memories ever. No denying it. Nah. Everybody knows I'm the luckiest man. Hey yo, welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're in Texas. We just moved from Canada. I wish. All right, jokes aside, I was editing or still am editing a moto vlog video for the main channel. And sometimes I feel a little bit too lazy and I don't want to buzz my hair because I just buzz my own hair because ever since. You know, the pandemic -o. I've been kind of not going to the barber. Well, we are canceling plans for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's about to rain. Okay, so it's not day two. It's still day one. I um, just realized tomorrow is Thanksgiving and everything's closed, so we can't even go anywhere. The question was, am I too boomer for hats? And 37% of you said yes. So what I'm going to do is go to the vote section, check all the yeses, and expose you motherfuckers. Today is an explorer type of day. I did not expect rain, but here we are. It's raining. Tomorrow, we're recording for our main channel, Sifa for Honda, where Tina steps back on her bike and kind of relearns the process because she's a little bit nervous and she's always been like that ever since I've known her. So, you know, a four or five year break on motorcycles, she's going to need some warm up. I'm in a rush today. I can't even grab the suction mount to put you guys in. So you guys are going to be wobbly all day. This Explorer has been gone for two or three weeks. Engine went bad. The uh, a, lo a lot of stuff went bad. OK, but as you can see, the check engine light is on. Yesterday on the highway from dropping the kids off, the engine light, first of all, the mechanic said if it goes off, it might be an issue with something like we'll come over and we'll, we'll check it out because it might just happen just because it happens because we have to replace the whole engine in this goddamn car and never get a Ford Explorer. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be reading the comments. If you, you tell me, is this a thing or should I ditch it? It's just like I haven't cut my hair, bro. You can see my gray hairs. The engine light started blinking yesterday on the highway. And when it was blinking, my RPMs were going up in the car on the highway but my car was not going any faster. So I don't know what that means. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not good. It's as if I was revving in neutral on the highway with the car on going 120 on the highway. So it's kind of, kind of scary. Tina went panic mode and she slapped the uh, hazard lights. And then for some reason, the engine light stopped blinking and it went solid again and everything was fine. I'm still checking the car out. I'm sending it back to the mechanic that replaced the engine. So. You don't have to worry about that. The check engine light will be checked, okay? Another thing we gotta talk about though, I blew up Tina's motorcycle, man. I blew it up. As you can tell, this is her battery, bro. And while my brain is going like this, I have something else to say. Now that I've been feeling the fall weather in Canada, you know, the rain, I'm seeing the yellow leaves, I don't like that. I want to convince, if you hear smacking, I'm smacking my steering wheel, I'm sorry. I wanna convince Christina to move to Texas even harder and make it a serious thing because I don't want to be here but like by next year. I don't want to, I don't want to experience another winter after this one. Cause we're probably will. I don't want to experience anything besides warm weather in Texas. I don't want to do Florida because we all know that Florida gets a bunch of tornadoes, hurricanes and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm vlogging bro. What do you want from me? Okay. So the plan is, um, when we get home, we're also going to go shopping for Texas homes and see what we could find for the price range. That's smaller than what we would sell the house here for just cause like, I want to start small and not jump into a big house with a big mortgage in the States where we have never been before. Okay. I was driving and I saw a girl um, driving on a lane that's, that's ending. And I was like, all right, she's going to speed up and go in front of me or slow down and go behind me. So she slowed down to the point where she full stopped, like ze going zero. I was like, oh, well, that must be a really, really bad driver. Right. So as I'm doing it, which is kind of hypocritical, but I don't think I'm a bad driver. She was driving horribly when he went dead stop at the road people were like trying to figure out what the heck she was doing and then she goes around passes everybody and guess what she was on her phone so listen don't phone and drive just vlog and drive dummy anyway well since we're in my car we have to fix another part of the uh explorer that broke um it was like a stabilizer under the wheel it like bent and cracked and snapped and like we had to fix it so that's that uh chargers i don't even know why i'm giving you a tour hey so i gotta fix this I don't know what to buy. It's like some leather fixing thing that I've never done before. But when I drive, I like to drive like this, right? So I'm chilling and I'm kind of like elbow. I'm literally digging my elbow. So this is literally just my elbow doing this. And this bad boy, bro, I wish you could. If you ever have a busted battery like I do, smell the inside. It smells so good. Anyways, so this is the battery that I had for Christina's bike. And I hope I didn't bust her entire bike. So it's a, I'm just here to pretty much replace the battery, but I hope it's not the bike. I hope it's just the battery because if I messed up the bike somehow, we're going to have to go bike shopping, guys. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> I needed a thumbnail. I forgot to do a thumbnail. The one good thing about motorcycle batteries is that they're not heavy, bro. They're not that heavy. Like car batteries are insane, but motorcycle batteries, you could just, they're not that bad. You want to see what the inside looks like? All right, first of all, everyone's buying motorcycle batteries. It was sold out at, they literally had one battery left. And like in this city, there was no more motorcycle batteries available, except this one, this one, bro. You got no idea. And I had no idea these even existed, okay? It was like 20 bucks cheaper, but guess what? There's instructions on here and I got to charge it myself, bro. I could have went like 20 minutes out of the way, 25 minutes to get a battery that's already charged and gambled if they have one because they said one in stock, but I'm not doing that. So now I just got to, I guess, charge. I don't think it's too hard. I'm not too stressed, but we found Sharpies. These will be the colors. I try. I kind of want to get gold and everything too, but let's drive. These will be the colors, guys, of the letters or letters, words, words. These will be the colors of when I, those of you who subscribe on Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, or join the channel memberships on Six Foot Four Honda or Six Foot Life will be getting their names printed on my bike is what I'm saying. And those are the colors that I'm using. Chances are that if you're watching this video, maybe, just maybe, you might find a join button right next to the subscribe button on this channel that you're watching. That's literally the only way that anyone could like kind of support my channel outside of just watching and liking and subscribing and stuff like that. So if you do join, your name is going on the bike or the Camaro. I have to figure out how, when, where, why, and whatever. So that's that. I literally have to pick up boxes just to get Tina's bike out. Okay, so we're gonna start with Tina's bike. Guess what? You guys will never guess what happened with my luck. Her battery blew up. I was charging her old battery, and this was right after I changed the oil. I heard one loud pop coming from here. And then I heard a second loud pop, and it smelled like almost like some delicious super glue, and smoke started coming out of the bottom here. Oh my God, I panicked so hard, bro. I quickly jumped on Instagram. I went live in my little discussion group that we have on Instagram, and geez Louise, did we come up with some solutions. I asked Google, we all know what happens with Google. You ask Google something and they tell you you got seven days to live because you got some crazy disease. That's not it, it's a battery. And since we're on the topic of batteries, this thing, yo, I gotta get a haircut. Oh my God. Here we go. I do have it charging and it says it's at 97%. So I'm not even gonna worry about it, bro. You're just getting unplugged right in here. Okay, like so. And it's not fitting. I still smell the old battery. So there's a little strap you just kind of, why is there a hole in here? Uh, you kind of hook it onto. The reason why I like bike batteries the most is because they're easy to install. Battery install, red or black first. Connect the positive terminal first. All right, last time I did it, I almost blew the car up. Back when I uh, listened to every single internet guru, I listened to like these videos of people saying, you just drop shit from AliExpress, dude. This is from AliExpress, the tool set. I ended up keeping it because I was like, nope, I'm not doing it. Better pray that Tina's bike turns on after it blew up. <laughs> Yo, this AliExpress thing's actually clutch. So. I'm going to try and show you guys on this one. So as you could tell, the bottom bolt thing under the gold, I couldn't reach it with the screw. So AliExpress hooked me up and I got to use this little pick to lift it, which is kind of sick. Now, the bad news is, I don't know if it's bad news. Haven't really heard much of the bike going. E -uh. All right. Oh, my God. I'm so scared. Yo, this is the moment of truth. Will Tina's bike work? I'm a little nervous. Let's find out. <gasps> God, God, please, 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 please,